Good morning, Austin here, Kraken's Junk Removal. Tri-City's number one top choice for junk removal and home well, clean-out. Here we are at our job today. We got the uh, dump trailer here. So we're gonna get started on this uh, garage first. Uh, and then we'll kind of work our way inside. Though. And here's what I'm thinking. On the inside of the house, uh, as you guys saw in my last video, there's a lot of uh, cat feces, uh, dog feces everywhere, as you can see here. Uh, and it just kind of smells real bad. What we're so gonna we'll do first is open up all the windows to kind of air it out, and then uh, go through it and uh, pick up the dog poop and everything and spray it down with uh, some pet deodorizer and cleaner. That way it helps kind of get rid of some of the smell. It makes it easier to move through the house. And then from there, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with the larger pieces of furniture, couches and uh, chairs, uh, mattresses, that kind of stuff, load it up into the dump trailer. And then I'll work our way down to the smaller items and then go ahead and um, do their fridge last. I don't even wanna open it, so. Uh, and then we did find out we got this poor little guy in the fish tank, so we're gonna transport him home. It's funny, I gotta tell you, one day my, my son, when he was younger, uh, he was on my, my wife's phone and he took it upon himself to order order a fish without telling us. So one day we got a package at home and opened it up and it was a fish, so. Uh, I didn't wanna flush that little guy down the toilet, so we had to actually go and uh, head and uh, get him a home, buy him all the equipment, so. I think with this guy, this little fish will keep him as a little pit, a little pet. So, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started here in a minute. Uh, just kind of getting my tools and everything on loaded, and uh, go ahead and open up. Like I said, we're gonna open up some of these windows here, and I even think some of the top windows, like here, we might be able just to throw right into the dump trailer, which is nice and convenient instead of lugging them up and down those stairs. So that will help. So. All right, I'll take you guys along, but um, if you haven't already, go ahead and please consider subscribing. Go ahead and hit the like and uh, leave a comment below. All right, appreciate everybody's support. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, let's go ahead and begin this job. So as we're here in the garage, I did find this uh, compressor, and a uh, customer said she didn't want it, so let me plug it in. It does work, which is nice, so uh, we'll keep that for the business. Keep that, that's what comes, always comes in handy. And I pulled up all these lids, and you see these cockroaches. They just, they were everywhere in here, scattered everywhere. Ugh. All right, so I just finished um, opening up all the windows in the house. So now I'm up throwing stuff out this top story while I'm up here. I'm not having to make multiple trips. Uh, this I'm gonna have to bust to get it through this window. So we'll do that in a minute. Um, this is already breaking. I don't, should I risk it? Should I throw that through there? Let me know in the comments below what you would do. Throw it or just carry it? It's about to break. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I think get rid of this mattress. I think it's seen better days. Uh, you'd think maybe at uh, some point they would just go ahead and get a new mattress and box spring, but man, they use this thing until it was beaten into the ground, it looks like. This thing is pretty gnarly. But, you know, I've uh, seen worse though. So, we're gonna get this out of here because who knows what's in this mattress and box spring. Um, I don't think it's going to fit through the window, so we're just going to have to take it down the stairs. It's the only other option. So let's put this down and start with this box spring. And of course, there's food in that fridge, so we're not going to open that. I already opened it once, so closed it real quick. But this little AC unit is humming pretty good. It's keeping it nice and cool in here at least. Probably the coldest house, or coldest room in the house.
So it looks like we got some cornhole here, but it's missing the legs on it. But um, oh, check out that spider. Uh, you think he's dead, but anyways. Um, yeah, these are some nice uh, cornhole boards. I don't even use it for cornhole. Having this wood's kind of nice. It's just missing the legs on it. So it looks like that's where they were before. You can get them to where they uh, where they rotate out. So um, I, don't know, I may keep those. And if I don't end up using it for cornhole, just can use the wood for like a chicken coop that I want to build. So uh, I think I'm gonna keep those. I was gonna use the tarp, but I think it might just be easier to shovel it as close as I can to the trailer. And then just toss it from there into there. So I got some Christmas trees. I wish I could just burn these, but I can't. Um, that's a nice piece of metal. But I have too many stands. I don't think I need this one. So I'll put that to the side. Uh, throw that in glass. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take that, give that to my neighbor for scrap. Make a pile of metal. And give that to him. So I think that's what we'll, what we'll do. There's some, some metal there. This chair. We'll throw that there. Make this room. Or mop. Some more metal. Just all kinds of stuff here. Oh, stepping on Christmas ornaments. I gotta be careful. So, all right, I'm gonna continue getting this stuff out and trying to save space for a. We got a love seat, a couch, uh, two chairs, two mattresses, and a box spring inside still that I, I want to so fit in. So we are almost full on this dump trailer. We got all the heavy items. There's two couches back there. We got two mattresses, uh, two box springs, a uh, headboard back there, some miscellaneous wood, a speaker box. So we got all the big stuff. That's what we we're trying to do. But actually, we got two more. We got two more chairs. We got the bottom part to a chair, a few cushions, and then this chair. We're going to go ahead and load up in this trailer. And then uh, all this stuff right here that's in here. And the stuff on the side of the house, all this stuff, we'll just throw in on the top over here. That'll fill it up, and that'll be one load. Dropped off one of the trailer loads at the landfill, and uh, cleaning up some of these boxes. It's trying to move these dog cages out, and just look at this fur. Oh my gosh, that is nasty. It smells so bad in here. Oh, it's crazy to think that people live like this, uh, especially with kids too. That's the sad part. You know, they would put their kids in such an environment like this. It's very sad to think about. But hold your kids tight. Tell them you love them. All right, but we're going to go ahead and uh, continue working. Got all the boxes down there. Uh, got the other trailer load there ready to go. So once we get all this cleaned up, we'll sweep everything up and... Um, pick up any animal feces and spray it down with some pet cleaner deodorizer and then clean up the yard and that will be it so look at all those cockroaches and this is just one area of a huge house I could not live like this I don't mind spiders and snakes but I don't do cockroaches. Those things are dirty. No way. So, so we got all the boxes out of this room. I'm working on this room, just trying to throw what we can onto the rug, fold it up, bring it out, and then we're going to come through and sweep up all this. Uh, trying to do the bottom level first, and then work our way upstairs. At least a lot of the stuff is smaller items. Well, oh, that's not going to be fun. Yeah, notice the stickers. Yep, yep, stickers tell the whole story. All right, one last thing before we leave. Remember, kids, always remember to dream.